Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber can't stop and won't stop with the drama, but if we're going to be honest, Hailey courts it quite a bit with the overt copying of Selena. Just saying. This is some serious cyberbullying behavior. Or is it? Well, according to all involved, nothing happened, but let's hit you with the facts. Back in February of 2023, Selena decided to post a TikTok that her eyebrows were over-laminated, which like, hooray for Selena for owning her mistakes, we guess. However, the very next day, Kylie Jenner, friend of Hailey Bieber, posted a pic of the eyebrow section of her face with the caption, This was an accident? Followed by a screenshot of Hailey's zoomed-in eyebrow while they were apparently FaceTiming. It's all a bit obvious that the models were full out making fun of Selena. But all parties involved, including Selena, have claimed that this fandom is making stuff up. Whether or not this fandom was extrapolating the fallout from this debacle has made Selena the most followed person on Instagram. Schools clearly need to hire Selena Naders to teach bullies how to stop that trash because karma comes immediately. And as far as this being a time that Haley copied Selena, we're assuming that a post about her eyebrows would have never been a thing if Selena didn't do it first. You're not but a second-rate, trying-hard copycat! Well, here's a cringe moment of embarrassment if we've ever seen one. When you're as famous as Selena, the world will sometimes tell your story for you. In fact, there have been times when Selena has mentioned that she wanted to tell her own story and wished she could so people could see her heart, literally stating that the one thing she wished people could see about her was her heart. Cut to Haley on The Tonight Show, revealing that she was glad that she was able to tell her own story as well. Haley again seemingly echoing Selena, stating, I wish people just knew my heart. Okay, I'm starting to fear that Haley may be single white femaling Selena. Why are you so obsessed with me? Okay, so this one may be a bit of a stretch because both starlets are young, beautiful, and trendy AF. So, here is a world where Haley is copying trends, not Selena. That being said, one viral TikTok shows many side-by-side -side comparisons of Haley's and Selena's outfits. And let's just say, a lot of them look identical. Plus, her tattoo placement on her back basically mirrors Selena's tat. I'm not saying this evidence would hold up in court, but Haley girl, come on. Now, this copycat moment is brought to you by the letter J. Upon marrying Justin Bieber, the model skincare guru Hailey Bieber got a striking J tattoo on her finger. This would have been all well and good except for the fact that the front of the J looks exactly like the J ring Selena was given by Justin back in 2012. A oh, yoikes! The ring itself was a simple silver design featuring a J in a cursive font and was believed to be a Valentine's Day gift from Justin to Selena while the pair were dating. Justin must take some responsibility in this mess sometime, right? Dang, uh... So back in the day when Haley was just a Baldwin and not a Bieber, it was found out by Selena Naders that Haley was caught following Jelena fan accounts in the past. And while Haley now denies, 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 the evidence mounting for her fandom is pretty undeniable. In 2018, screenshots show Haley started following the Instagram fan account at House of L. Haley unfollowed it and DM'd the owner to explain that it was an accident. When Haley was younger, she was seen at an event with a huge smile whilst holding up a magazine featuring Selena and Justin. More screenshots from 2011 to 2013 appear to show Haley tweeting about the Wizards of Waverly Place actress. Selena Gomez is so cute! The alleged screenshot shows she wrote this in 2011. On another tweet, she said, Selena Gomez is so friggin' good looking. And, I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. Hashtag word. Well, this is why you always delete your former tweet. Needless to say, fans pointing out all the copycatting has been an overwhelming time for Selena, and most likely Haley too. Due to the drama, the singer took to social media saying she's taking a break amidst all the speculation and rumors. After eyebrow gate, Selena said, And I'm 30, I'm too old for this, so. <laughs> but I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys sooner rather than later. I'm just going to take a break from everything. Looks like the best thing to do in a dramatic situation is to do nothing. Here's hoping that Selena keeps this zen outlook.
Selena may be taking an L on the most recent dramas, but in the past, she wasn't always so minimalist. In October 2019, shortly after Selena Gomez released her track, Lose You to Love Me, speculated to be about her former romance with Justin, Haley shared an Instagram story listening to the song I'll Kill You by Summer Walker and Janae Aiko. Fans immediately connected the Insta story to the It Ain't Me singer's latest release, which Haley vehemently denied. But like the classy lady Selena is, she immediately posted, please stop with the nonsense, there is no response. Starting to think the truth lies somewhere in between. And this isn't the first time Selena has attempted to shut down all this nonsense of pitting Haley versus herself. In fact, she once told Cosmopolitan magazine that she does not stand for women tearing women down and I will never, ever be by that. Of course our queen cell would support other women, even women who continually shade her on the socials. It's called being a boss baby. While Selena keeps it classy, Haley is working her butt off trying to show the world that she's totes fine with Selena. And by butt, we mean like pressing her finger. In 2019, the New York native liked one of Gomez's posts about the launch of her rare beauty collection. In November of that year, a source claimed that Haley thinks Selena is talented by liking photos of Selena, whether it be glam shot or ones that her friends post on Instagram. Haley wants to show that there are no hard feelings. Haley wanted to keep the peace in a low-key public way which is nice and all, but keep in mind, this is before the eyebrow of all of it. Maybe we just have to assume Haley's take on the eyebrow stitch was her proving that imitation was the serious form of flattery? And regardless of this mounting evidence of Haley copying Selena or hating Selena or whatever, Selena has had a history of slamming trolls even as far back as 2020. After Madison Beer, a mutual friend of the two, dined with Haley, some fans of Selena came down hard on Madison Beer due to their feelings that she betrayed Selena Gomez. Not only did Beer defend herself, but the Disney Channel alum came to her defense as well. Gomez wrote via Instagram, I'm so disappointed that people would speak to someone like this. I've known Madison since she was a baby and watched her continue to become the woman she is. There is no issue. Fans, take note. But after all the work Selena does saying she's above all these rumors and the copycat instances, let's just say Selena gets down in the dirt sometimes too. On May 10th, 2022, Gomez shared a TikTok of her skincare routine that some fans assumed was her way of making fun of a video that Haley posted earlier that day. And when fans caught this faux pas, Selena immediately responded, saying, Guys, no idea what I did, but I really am sorry. Zero bad intention, deleting soon. The fans are always watching. Selena Gomez has the best style. Oh, and she's down-to-earth and talented, too. Why wouldn't other celebs want to copy everything she does? From fashion and hair to music and business, these stars can't stop copying everything Selena does. Because it's just not normal. Number 1. Kendall Jenner's Pink Floral Dress The former Keeping Up With The Kardashian star has been slammed on multiple occasions for blatantly copying Selena's red carpet looks. These two brunettes are often seen wearing similar styles, but is Kendall straight up copying Selena, or do they just have similar tastes? The answer was clear in 2021 when the singer wore an ankle-length pink floral dress for her 2021 Spanish music video for De Una Vez. The dress was designed by Rodarte and cost over $2,600. Easter of that year, Kendall posted photos of herself in Palm Springs wearing the exact same dress. The internet immediately started dubbing it who wore it better. Selena's fans took to her side on Twitter, pointing out that the dress was a symbolic part of the emotional music video, and that wasn't even a question. The real drama started when Kendall retweeted a fan who said that Kendall wore the dress better than anyone. Even though Kendall did wear the dress first in a photo shoot, some felt that the retweet was a little petty. Number 2. Hailey Bieber's Tattoo on another occasion, Haley was called out after showing off a very special tattoo she got for the love of her life. The model shared a small and delicate tattoo of a J, which she got on her finger. J for… Justin. Adorable, right? 
It was, anyway, until fans noticed that the Curse of Style J looked a lot like a ring that Justin had gotten for Selena way back when they were dating. Selena's ring was a very similar J detail. Coincidence? Or does that make Hailey's love tat just a little less special? Number 3. Kylie Jenner's Sailor Look Like her older sister, Kylie has also been known to take fashion and business notes, whether on purpose or not, from Selena. In 2020, Selena wore a sailor costume when she appeared in Blackpink's music video for Ice Cream. The star wore a red and white striped outfit with a sailor hat, gloves, and bright red vintage-style lipstick. Soon after, Kylie Jenner released a new summer sailor collection in her Kylie Cosmetic lip kits. Kylie releasing new makeup is a common occurrence, but this time she was wearing an almost identical getup as Selena's sailor look. Kylie posted the photos of herself wearing a red and white striped crop top, sailor hat, and of course, bright red lipstick. We know Kylie's cosmetic shoots are planned way in advance, but still, coincidence? Number 4. Bella Hadid's Sleek Bob Haircut in 2017, Selena Gomez was ready for a new look. Shedding her younger, long-haired look, the star wowed fans when she debuted a sleek bob haircut. It suited her perfectly. Of course, everyone wanted to copy this chic look. But not long after, Bella Hadid showed up to the Met Gala red carpet with a new haircut too. And fans were quick to point out that Bella's sleek long bob looked a lot like Selena's recent new do. Sure, Bella's known to change her hairstyle almost weekly, but to change it so quickly after Selena debuted the same look? She must have been inspired by the singer. The pair obviously do have similar tastes, in hairstyles and in guys. Number 5. Olivia Rodrigo's Music when the younger singer's album Sour came out, fans were going crazy over the hit Good For You. But some couldn't help but notice that it was really similar to a popular Selena Gomez song from 2009. Rodrigo has admitted that she has a wide range of music influences when it comes to her music, and it makes sense that some of Selena's pop hits have made it into Rodrigo's repertoire of inspiration. Fans on TikTok noticed that Good For You had a similar sound to Stop and Erase, which was on Selena Gomez's album Kiss and Tell. Not to mention that Selena also has a song called Good For You. Number 6. Justin Bieber's Romantic Selfies Romantic pictures together are like a rite of passage for new couples. But when Justin Bieber shared this pic with his now wife Haley, fans pointed out that it looks somewhat familiar. Deja vu, anyone? Justin's selfie with Haley was super similar to a selfie he took with his ex girlfriend Selena back when they were dating. Justin and Selena dated on and off for a few years before the baby singer met his wife. And although the pair called it quits long ago, some fans still can't get over the Jelena pairing. So of course, they had to point out that Justin and Haley's pick was a lot like his and Selena's. Number 7. Billie Eilish's Music Selena and Billie Eilish are clearly fans of each other and take inspiration from one another's work. Billie has shared that Selena is a big inspiration for her. We love to see it. On her album Rare, Selena worked with Phineas, Billy's brother, who helps in the production stage of one of the songs. The Ocean Eyes singer revealed that the theme song from Selena's TV sitcom The Wizards of Waverly Place was one of the inspirations behind Billy's hit song Bad Guy. Do you hear the similarities between these two tracks? Number 8. Blackpink Lisa's Style Do Lisa from Blackpink and Selena have a low-key style war going on? Fans of both singers have probably noticed that Lisa and Selena are often seen wearing very similar styles. Whereas Lisa goes for a younger, more innocent vibe, Selena has been working towards maturing her style and looking more grown up. Lisa and Selena were both seen rocking a Salvatore Ferragamo dress in yellow, although they styled them differently. The pair have also both worn this pink Moomoo dress that sells for $2,210. In 2017, they both wore a tropical print pair of pants from Balenciaga's spring collection, Lisa on stage and Selena in a Vogue photo shoot. It's interesting to see how these two ladies can wear the same outfits but really make them their own. Number 9. J.Lo's Looks Ever since Jennifer Lopez found popularity in the music industry, fans have been comparing her to Selena, but not the one you think. J.Lo has repeatedly been compared to another artist named Selena Quintanilla Perez. But unsurprisingly, J.Lo has been known to take some style tips from her fellow singer Selena Gomez. The pair can often be seen rocking the same styles, even though there's a 23-year age gap between them. Number 10. Northwest's Green Ensemble 
As much of a fashion icon as her mom and aunts are, Northwest is always on top of the coolest fashion. For her brother Saint's birthday party in 2018, Young North rocked a look totally inspired by Selena Gomez. The mini Kardashian wore a shiny and embellished green two-piece ensemble from Saks Potts. It was the same look that Selena wore in DJ Snake's Taki Taki video, which she was featured in. Who wore it better? Sorry, Selena, we have to give this one to North. Number 11. Hailey Bieber's Style Given the fact that Selena Gomez was in a very high-profile relationship with Hailey's now husband Justin Bieber, it's understandable that fans are always on the lookout for these two feuding with and copying each other. The pair may not be the best of friends, but they do have very similar style from time to time, and Hailey's been called out more than once for seemingly straight-up copying Selena's looks. For example, when Selena started rocking a slicked-back ponytail and hoop earrings, it wasn't long before we saw Hailey doing the same. Number 12. Demi Lovato's Career The confident singer was often compared to Selena Gomez when her career first started. Being the same age and getting their start in entertainment in a very similar way, fans felt like Demi Lovato was copying Selena when she started starring in her own roles and producing her pop albums. The pair were actually competing for roles since they were little kids, when they both auditioned to be on Barney and Friends. Given their careers being so closely linked until their early 20s, Demi and Selena ended up becoming close friends. More recently, however, the pair grew apart and Demi revealed that she felt that Selena wasn't always as into the friendship as she was, and admitted that these days, she doesn't consider them to be friends. Number 13. Kaya Gerber's Style Although the runway model has all the fashion and style help she needs from home, she is still part of the long list of celebs who like to take style advice and inspiration from the one and only Selena. Back in 2017, Kaya was seen wearing Australian label Realization Par, not long after Selena debuted some pieces from the collection. Whereas Selena rocked a floral top and Kaya wore a dress from the label, both helped bring the brand onto the map, and it wasn't long before more celebs were wearing pieces from the collection. Number 14. Hailey Bieber's Makeup Artist As if taking inspiration from her style and love life wasn't enough, Hailey even went as far as hiring the same makeup artist as Selena. The model hired makeup artist to the stars, Hung Van Gogh, who was well known to be a favorite of Selena. Of course, it could just be that Van Gogh is great at his job and is sought after by all celebs, but it's yet another coincidence. Number 15. Addison Rae's Sound the 21-year-old TikTok star has become a household name recently, and it's not only because she was temporary besties with a Kardashian. Addison also launched her own business, merch line, cosmetics, and music. When Addison dropped her single, Obsessed, some fans thought they'd heard something similar. It was hard to deny that Addison's music was giving major Selena Gomez vibes. Is that pure inspiration or blatant copying? But seriously, can you blame them? Selena Gomez is an incredibly talented and stylish star. It's a good thing that Selena also has a great heart, or else she would be spending a lot more time calling people out for their copycat tendencies. Kylie Jenner has great style, thanks to her eye for fashion and her inspiration from other A-listers. Kylie loves twinning with these celeb fashion trendsetters and copying their looks by adding her own stylish spin. Try and dress cute, and like I would always just like try and copy your outfit. Rihanna's camo jacket. Who wouldn't want to copy Rihanna's style? The queen of rocking high fashion, Rihanna is known for her looks that elegantly show off her enviable curves and figure. Kylie has looked to the Fenty designer for inspiration on multiple occasions. The stars took different approaches to styling the oversized reversible camo print jacket, but both wore it gray side out while stepping out on the town, Riri paired the jacket with camo print pants and a hoodie, while Kylie went for an all-black juicy couture tracksuit ensemble underneath. Kylie wore the look while attending the set of the film Ocean's 8, where the reality star had a guest cameo spot on the all-female remake of the heist movie. Beyonce Copying the queen? Why, of course! Kylie Jenner takes her outfit inspo from the top of the fashion food chain when she copies outfits previously worn by Beyonce. When the Kylie Cosmetics creator launched her collection called Wild Thing, she shared images from the promo photo shoot, whose style was all over animal print. Kylie rocked a textured, high-volume hairstyle, which reminded fans of something familiar. Some commenters pointed out the similarities between Kylie's Wild Thing shoot and Beyoncé's look for her music video for Kitty Cat. While the Queen Bay track debuted over a decade ago, it's still hard to ignore the resemblance between Kai's look and Beyoncé's leopard print-inspired video. Kim Kardashian 
With four older sisters who had a jumpstart on the world of fashion, it makes sense that Kylie has plenty of style advice from Kendall, Chloe, Courtney, and Kim. In terms of style choices, most fans agree that Kylie most takes after her big sister Kim. The pair are often seen rocking the same high fashion outfits, glam makeup looks, and changing up their hairstyles as much as possible. When Kylie was pregnant with Stormy Webster, she took a look from Kim's maternity book, wearing the same sheer black outfit with all its bump-bearing glory. Both sisters showed off their baby bump with sheer black lace with a red, carpet-worthy floor-length jacket. Rihanna We love seeing the sheer black lace look for these ladies, and Kim wasn't the only one who wore it first. Kylie also took inspiration for the look from Rihanna's sheer black all-over lace ensemble. The singer and designer shared her look to Instagram before her Savage Fenty show aired live on Amazon Prime back in 2019. The star wore a see-through black long-sleeve shirt and tights with a black velvet wrap skirt. She was also ahead of the trends with full lace gloves. Kylie later recreated the look while expecting. Love it! Cardi B Every winter, Kylie and her family head to the slopes for a ski trip with plenty of gram-worthy opportunities and high-fashion apre ski looks. In December of 2019, the star filled her feed with snowy outfits, including an all-white bodysuit and fur scarf by Chanel, followed by a black-and-white jumpsuit and black turtleneck by the same designer. The fit ran her $3,350, and she paired it with a Chanel hat and mittens. A few months earlier, Cardi B wore the same look, pairing the Chanel onesie with a simple white tee, Chanel earrings, and long purple nails. Do you prefer Cardi's streetwear version of the look or Kylie's snow bunny ensemble? Ariana Grande Everyone wants to look cute on their birthday. If you think Stormy World is wild, you should see the string of parties and events that Kylie usually throws for her own day of birth. In 2020, the star started off the August 10th festivities with a surprise birthday dinner attended by her besties. Kylie had a pink frosted cake and wore a white knit crop top paired with a leather button-up. The top was identical to the one Ariana Grande wore earlier in the summer for her 27th birthday celebrations. Coincidence? Ariana styled the top with a white skirt and her signature high pony. Cardi B Taking lessons from Cardi B's wardrobe, Kylie wore a gorgeous pink crepe gown for her Kylie Cosmetics and Balmain collab. The architectural dress is everything and added some layers to her beauty brand shoot for the collection, and the line marked Kylie Cosmetics' first time on the high fashion runway. But wait a second, haven't we seen that dress before? Yup! Cardi wore the same incredible dress to Rihanna's fifth annual Diamond Ball in New York City and looked fantastic in it, we might add. Selena Gomez with each new collection of Kylie's cosmetic lines, her team creates a new theme, and with that, a photo shoot featuring Jenner in costume. And yes, they're usually creative masterpieces. But when Kylie Cosmetics launched her summer sailor collection, she wore a red, white, and blue beachy ensemble paired with a sailor hat and bright red lips. The whole thing looked a little too much like Selena Gomez's look from Blackpink's video for Ice Cream, which dropped only five days earlier. Gigi Hadid are we digging this tie-dye outfit as a sleeveless dress the way Kylie wore it? Or as the long-sleeve pant version that Gigi Hadid sported? Both look amazing, but the real question is, who wore it first? When the tie-dye trend took on in 2019, plenty of models and social media influencers were jumping on board, Kylie and Gigi included. And Kylie can never pass up a form-fitting look that shows off her curves. Although a similar pattern, Gigi's Coachella fit is by a sigh, while Kylie's bodycon dress with cinched sides and Stormy's mini-me version of the look are by Kim Shui. Bella Hadid Unless you're headed to work on the farm, does anyone really need a straw hat? That's what I thought, until I saw these ladies rock the look that is. Can Bella Hadid make anything look amazing, or what? Fans loved Kylie's confident heavy post, featuring herself on vacation wearing a massive straw hat, clearly enjoying some sand and sun. The star captioned the post, Vacation Mode, but the look was following Bella's similar post featuring the model on a beach wearing a similarly large sun hat, except taking that whole oversized trend up a notch. Kylie quickly limited the comments on her post when fans started pointing out that she'd copied the runway model's pick. Beyonce Kylie's leopard print shoot for the Wild Thing line of cosmetics wasn't the first time the CEO mom took inspiration from the queen of animal print herself. Just a few months earlier, the star got some heat online for copying a look worn by the crazy and love singer. Both Beyonce and Kylie have their catsuit game on point. They wore the red version of the fit paired with a matrix-style leather jacket, shades, and open-toed stilettos. 
Kylie rocked a neutral colored version of the bodysuit, styling it in a similar way with a long leather jacket and black heels. It's hard to agree on which star rocked the Marine Sair bodysuit better. Can we just call it a tie? Actually, let's give this win to Stormy. Cardi B Okay, we are starting to see a pattern here. Kylie copied Cardi B yet again when she took her Met Gala look to another level in 2019 with her purple Versace gown. The look was eerily similar to Cardi B's lavender pantsuit outfit from the year before for Fashion Week in Paris. Kylie even copied the matching purple hair. But the purple feather similarity to Cardi's feathery ensemble wasn't the end of the copycat routine. Kylie also went as far as getting her daughter Stormy a matching Mommy and Me version of the look after Cardi shared endless pics of her daughter, Culture, wearing matching outfits and costumes. Rihanna Is Kylie paying homage to her favorite celebs' best outfits or straight up copying their looks? Kylie showed up in a piece already worn by Rihanna once again when she wore the same silk gown. Kylie wore the black silk robe to the MTV VMAs circa 2014 and looked stunning. Rihanna had already rocked the dress in yellow to a Grammys party circa 2014. The elegant gown is from Alexandre Vauthier's spring collection of the same year, and we don't blame both stars for picking the look for their events. Finally, in 2017, Kylie wore a white fringe jumpsuit while on vacation with her ex-boyfriend Tyga, prompting fans to take note of Rihanna's version of the look in green. The catch? The New York-based shop told the Desperado singer that the jumpsuit was custom-made. Oops. Kendall Jenner Kylie takes fashion inspo from all her sisters, including her runway star sis. In 2019, Kylie shared shots of herself in a puffy ruffled red dress, captioning the photos, I'm ready for the V-Day collection, referring to the deep red shades dropping in the Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Day collection. Just a few months earlier, Kylie's older sister Kendall wore a very similar red dress with tons of fluffy ruffles for the holiday's Estee Lauder Cosmetics campaign. While Kendall's gown has floral straps and Kylie's was strapless, they're pretty much the same dress. Knew in my soul that this was what I was supposed to do. Kim Kardashian Both Kylie and her older sister Kim tend to change up their hairstyles as often as they change their moods. With access to the world's top hairstylists and wig makers, why not? In 2020, Kylie branched out from her usual brunette, bleached, blue, and bob styles to try something completely new for her. The makeup guru went for a long, sleek style dyed bright yellow. The look was identical to Kim's previous take on the sunshine style. People will pinpoint every single thing about you. Does Kylie come up with her own looks or does she just copy her fellow celebs? This billionaire makeup guru and 2B mom of two is super busy, so it only makes sense that she takes inspiration from her gorgeous and talented celeb friends when it comes to style. As one of the biggest and most stylish pop stars in the world, Ariana Grande's style is uniquely her. That's why it's so hard to copy her and not get caught. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke. Uh, so <laughs> Addison Rae The TikToker served her fans a stunning look from Versace after attending their shows in Europe this year. Addison is in an all-pink Versace outfit, donning the iconic high stiletto heels of the brand. The all-pink, princess bubblegum-esque Versace has been criticized for copying an outfit by Ariana Grande. Ariana wore a similar outfit consisting of a Versace dress in the color yellow, which was paired with yellow sheer tights and stiletto heels. The position singer donned the outfit for a skit she performed on The Late Late Show with James Corden. She also posted pictures of herself in the Versace look in June this year on her Instagram. While the look is eerily similar to Addison's pink one, from the silhouette of the two dresses to the pairing of it with sheer tights and stiletto heels. When Addison posted pictures from her look on Twitter, fans pointed out Ariana's look and accused Addison of copying the singer's style. To them, it's literally the same outfit but in pink. It's like trying to copy but doing it on the DL. What do you think? Yeah, okay. You know, like, okay, I'm sure she did. Halsey During her Hopeless Foundation Kingdom tour, Halsey has been accused of copying one of her tour looks from fellow artist Ariana Grande. After pictures of Halsey stepping on stage wearing a pair of white pants, matching bralette, and duster coat, fans have taken to Twitter to blast Halsey for wearing a look that's nearly identical to one worn by Ariana on her Dangerous Woman tour. While looking at the singer's outfits side by side, they are quite similar. 
But that doesn't automatically mean that Halsey intentionally stole Ariana's look. In fact, Halsey tweeted out a response to all the haters on social media, writing, Love Ari. Didn't know about this, but it's cool to me. My encore look varies, but I thought this was a cool Badlands throwback. All love. Halsey has been rocking the same look, though without the matching coat, since her Badlands tour. And she looks great. But so does Ariana Grande. Khloe Kardashian she often switches up her style and posts it on Instagram. While fans love when she's trying something new, sometimes Chloe's new looks don't look so new. Many fans have commented that Chloe takes inspiration from Ariana Grande more than once. The Kardashian posted on Instagram a picture where she was wearing a pair of black latex pants and a corset top with her hair styled in two 90s-esque pigtails, which looks uncannily similar to the style Grande has been fond of too. Since then, Chloe has tried other styles, but eventually got compared to Ariana again. Chloe posted on Snapchat with a high ponytail in shades similar to Ariana's hair and using one of the singer's favorite selfie poses, pouting. Of course, Chloe immediately got comments asking if she's trying to copy Ariana Grande, while others were praising the look. Courtney Kardashian while her sisters tried to be more subtle with their inspiration, Courtney was not. In true Courtney fashion, she literally dressed up as Ariana Grande for one Halloween, and she even went trick-or-treating in the outfit. One of the best celebrity Halloween costumes of 2018 was her dressing as an Ariana Grande doppelganger. She donned a high ponytail, pink mini dress, thigh-high boots, and a microphone to achieve status as Ariana's long-lost twin. She really did her homework, as the dress she wore was almost an exact copy of what Ari wore during an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Now that's dedication. I'm so excited. This is going to be so funny. Billie Eilish when Billie Eilish announced the release of her sophomore project, Happier Than Ever, she shared its cover design on social media. Fans immediately noticed the album's artwork, aesthetically speaking, is the complete opposite of her first record's artwork. And the reason for that is she might have taken inspiration from Ariana Grande. Some are saying the artwork resembles Ariana's 2018 Sweetener cover art, especially the neutral color palette. As a fan of Ari, Billie may have just been inspired by her. Um, can I just say that I think Ariana deserves this? Kim Kardashian Ariana Grande has gone through many eras in her music and style. She started off with lots of pink and the cutest sweetheart dresses, and she also had a cat ears phase. But one of her most memorable style eras was Focus. Instead of her brunette locks, Ariana switched for a platinum blonde tied in her signature ponytail. The look is very uniquely Ariana. That's why fans were quick to point out Kim Kardashian when her promotional photo shoot seemed to have been inspired by Ariana's focus era. In images promoting her Kimoji Hearts fragrances, Kim can be seen with her platinum locks pulled into a high ponytail while wearing a white outfit. The combination of all those things paints a near-identical picture to a shoot Ariana Grande did in 2015 for the cover of her hit single Focus. Some fans even noticed how the makeup was similar as well, giving them a major case of deja vu. I, I said it. it first. You did, you did. Kylie Jenner. Every year, Kylie Jenner's birthday party is filled with days-long celebrations. For her 23rd birthday, Kylie started the celebration four days in advance. With a last-minute surprise early birthday dinner, there was a rose-topped birthday cake covered in Kylie skin pink frosting and some sweet moments. For her outfit, she borrowed a look from Ariana Grande, essentially replicating the outfit Ari wore for her birthday party in June of that year. Both wore nearly identical knit bras as tops for their celebrations. This was not the only time Kylie got some inspiration from the singer. Earlier that year, Ariana Grande fans were calling Kylie out for posting pictures of herself in Ariana's signature sleek high ponytail. In these now deleted pictures, with her hair pulled back, Kylie has more resemblance to Ari than we thought. It like gives me goosebumps every time we, I like, it's so crazy. Camila Cabello. For the 2018 MTV EMAs in Spain, Cabello broadcasted via tweet that she had attempted Grande's signature hairstyle for the first time. She was in so much pain that she swore to never wear the hairstyle again. She even joked about her pained face during the high ponytail and her smiling face after she took it off. Ultimately, Camilla decided to consult with the high ponytail queen herself, Ariana Grande, to get some perspective. I just did a high ponytail for the first time and it's literally pulling on my brain. It's so painful. How do you do it at Ariana Grande?" she wrote. Ari joked back about her not having nerves, but ultimately how the hairstyle just hurts. After rocking the style for many years, Ari's just used to the pain. Camilla is not so much. And when she took down her ponytail, it's most likely her last time copying Ariana. Like always worn it in a ponytail. Jennifer Lopez 
JLo has been in the industry for decades, so by now she's tried every hairstyle out there. For the 2020 People's Choice Awards, she posted a picture to Instagram stories of her very high ponytail, which tumbled down from the top of her head in glossy ringlets. The look seemed familiar, and then we noticed the song JLo was playing for the reveal to be Ariana Grande's Positions. For the night, Jennifer Lopez channeled Ariana's signature hairstyle. This was not the first time JLo tried out Ari's signature hair. She also did it back in 2014. Madison Beer For years, Madison Beer has gotten comments about her copying Ariana Grande from her aesthetics to her singing. Some went as far as calling her an Ariana Grande wannabe. But I'll take it. I'll take the compliment. Thank you. For mistaking me. Throughout the years, Madison was unable to shake off the comparisons, and some haters are just waiting for something to use as fuel on Madison. So when Beer posted a photo of herself to Instagram sporting a cute half-up, half-down high ponytail, she subsequently faced a number of Ariana Grande fans, implying that she was copying Ariana. One person went as far as making a parody of Ariana's positions, but with Madison's situations. In an Instagram Live, when asked about fans describing her as an Ariana Grande wannabe, Madison responded asking people not to pit them against each other. She's one of my idols. I love her so much. Look, we can't deny it. Rihanna is an icon, even our favorite celebs fangirl over here. I'm literally in love with Rihanna. So it's no surprise they've been inspired by or just straight up copied Rihanna. You're not but a second-rate, trying-hard copycat. From her style to her brands and marketing, Rihanna keeps proving to be the blueprint for celebrities. Number 1. Free the Bumps of course Rihanna had to make pregnancy the hot new trend. Now everybody wants to free their belly. And we're here for it. Rihanna told People magazine, I'm enjoying not having to worry about covering up my tummy. If I feel a little chubby, it's like, whatever, it's a baby. And almost like clockwork, once the news broke and we all saw Rhee's belly poking out of that pink jacket, it was only a matter of time her maternity style would be copied. And it seems to have been done by a certain doll face. Shay Mitchell announced her second pregnancy days after Rihanna, and her style is looking pretty similar to the Bahan billionaire. And might we add, her maternity style now is quite different from her first. Is this inspiration or just copying? You decide. Number 2. It's rare to find unique packaging in the beauty game. We get it, a lot of brands take inspiration from others. But sometimes things just look a little too similar, you can't deny it looks like a copy. The frosted glass bottles and blush caps and geometric packaging that fit together like a puzzle, it's almost like deja vu. But it's not just the packaging. It's the number of shades they both launched with. In this day and age, companies know they better come with a diverse shade range. Why? Because Fenty Beauty did that. Launching with 40 shades, breaking industry standard, Rare Beauty had to follow suit with 48 shades. And a whole line, not just a few products. The same, but different. But still similar enough, we can see who inspired some of it. Number 3. Body Glow Body Sauce Which body came first? Body Sauce. But who's counting? Rihanna really changed the body shimmer game with the launch of Fenty's Body Lava, and then doubled down with the Liquid Body Highlight Body Sauce. Five months later, Kylie Cosmetics comes out with a similar product, as part of the Kylie's 24th Birthday Collection. With a closer look, the 24K shade looks eerily similar to Fenty's infamous Trophy Wife Highlighter. Hmm. Trophy Wife has been around since the launch of Fenty Beauty in 2017, so this one is hard to ignore. Hey, imitation is the highest form of flattery, so this copy is just really a compliment. Number 4. Kylie's slouchy leather boots are basically Rihanna's boots' baby cousin. Post-pregnancy, Kylie is back and ready to show she's still taking pointers from the mother of fashion and style. She showed off her black leather thigh-high slouchy boots on Insta, and they look a little familiar. They're obviously not the same boot, but it's a similar… vibe. Or family, if you will. Leather, slouchy, and thigh-high, we can see where Kylie gets it from. Though, of course, Rihanna has a little more of an exaggerated thigh-high situation going on, it's hard to ignore that Rhee's look may have inspired Kylie's. Once again, Rihanna proving she is the blueprint. Number 5. Kylie's skin lip oil and Fenty glass bombs look eerily similar. Once again, 
inspiration, or copying in the beauty industry. Granted, they're not exactly the same shape, but they are different from the shapes of the lip balms from the same brand. And considering the history of not-so-great reviews on the applicators for her lip kits Kylie's received in the past, maybe she wanted to try something that has been critically revered. After all, she's all about elevating. And it's interesting these hydrating oils and the packaging they came in came after the launch of the Clear Fenty Glass Bomb. Hmm. Okay, Kylie, we see you seeing Rihanna. Number 6. Kylie Jenner Takes Promo Inspo From Rihanna To announce the launch of the 24K collection, Kylie chose to copy, sorry, take inspiration from Rihanna's body lava shoot for the launch of the Trophy Wife shade. It's not just the matching gold outfits and overall golden theme, but down to the pose and windblown locks. Things are looking a little too close for comfort. We can't deny it's a great way to show off body makeup. They both look great, but we also can't ignore just how similar they are. And if we're being honest, if it weren't for this promo picture, the copying wouldn't have been so on the nose. Number 7. Is that Rihanna's 2021 Met Gala look backwards? The first in-person Met Gala since the pandemic, and Rihanna's red carpet look definitely turned heads. She looked really comfortable, though. Fast forward to this year's Vanity Fair Oscars party, and Kendall seems to have raided Rihanna's closet for the look and put it on backwards. Rihanna elevated the dramatic neckline with this look, and Kendall dusted off her track shoes and ran with it. Sometimes all you need to make an outfit look brand new is to turn it around, and it would still be just as dramatic. And you can't go wrong with a dramatic black gown of some sort. Number 8. Savagely Neon – The Skims Neutral Only Era May Be Coming to an End When Skims first came around, Kim was still in her Yeezy Neutral Era, and it made sense at the time. But now it seems she's slowly been coming out of her own yay-related connections that's reflected not only in her now personal style, but business style too. Now, we're not going to get into the full history of Savage X Fenty versus Skims. Fans think Kim K started her brand to keep up with Rihanna, who has always designed vibrant, colorful pieces. But it is understandable that folks think Skims may be keeping a close eye on its competitors, down to the shades of lime green underwear. Kim seems to be taking a page out of the Fenty playbook and adding a splash of color. Number 9. Crotchless Full Body Suits? Riri did it first. One thing about Rihanna, she knows how to give us ultra-sexy everything, especially lingerie, while some others know how to copy it. Some fans couldn't help but notice just how similar these catsuits are and how interesting it is that Skims came out with theirs a year after Savage X Fenty dropped this tiger print number. Crotchless is a staple for the Savage brand for a while, with Rihanna breaking the internet more than once. Even full-body catsuits and gloves have been a Savage X Fenty thing before a Skims thing. Sometimes inspiration comes from multiple places. 10. Barbie Couldn't Resist Rihanna's Iconic Chair Pose Rihanna has mastered the art of the sitting-down chair pose and redefined the meaning of sit like a lady while doing it. Looking good while sitting comfortably isn't easy for everyone to copy, but we have to give it to Barbie Ferreira because she killed it. Committed to the influence, copying this pose down to the corner of the room and the sheer material of her dress, the Euphoria actress is giving us major throwback Riri flashbacks. Rihanna's influence is truly unmatched and spans decades, it seems. 11. Aqua Blue Like You've Seen It Somewhere Before It may become the color of summer, but we saw it first this spring-slash-summer season on Rihanna. Not long after Kim Kardashian stepped out on the blue carpet for her first Vanity Fair Oscar party as a single woman. And a blue is hard to miss. And even harder to forget. But it's not just the color of the garments, it's all in the details. The accessorizing with the same glasses and similar cutouts around the waist makes it look even more like a copy of Rihanna's jumpsuit, just in the dress version. Number 12. Red Hair Don't Care when you think of Rihanna, her loud album era and vibrant red hair come to mind. The modern-day Ariel, before we get the Halle Bailey version. Red hair has almost become synonymous with Bogdal Riri, so anytime she sports some red hair, it's like a throwback to OG Ri. But of course, with all things good come those inspired by it, or trying to copy it. And who other to be inspired by Ri fiery locks than the baby Car Jenner? 
This half up, half down, cranberry red hair Kylie has looks similar, copied, heavily inspired by Rihanna's 2019 BET Awards look. This long red braid and all white look resembles Rihanna's man down video look a little too much. Number 13. I spy a copycat. Cat suits are a running theme with Rihanna. I think it's safe to say they are her thing, and time can prove it. Let's take a trip down memory lane. For her 2019 Interview Magazine cover feature, Rihanna donned this risque Laquan Smith leopard cat suit, jet black hair, and a bold red lip, a very Rihanna-esque look. Lo and behold, just a short month later, Kylie Jenner was seen in the exact same cat suit to promote her cosmetic summer launch. Coincidence? Well, it's hard to ignore when it's exactly the same outfit. Down to their jet black hair, that's why we spy a copycat. Number 14. You can't go wrong with an updo and a fringe jumpsuit. Rihanna set the tone and once again, Kylie couldn't resist. The green jumpsuit Rihanna wore for the 2016 VMA's appearance and the white jumpsuit Kylie wore on vacation in Costa Rica in 2017 look the same but are from different designers. Funny how identical they look, almost like an exact copy. This who wore it best situation actually led to a lawsuit with Lynn Pass Boutique, who claimed to make Rihanna's jumpsuit threatening to sue the dollhouse, where Kylie's jumpsuit is from, for stealing their design. Yikes. Number 15. Copying or just a supportive friend? Once Rihanna launched her fashion house Fenty, it was easy for everyone to copy her. And it was only a matter of time before other celebs started showing off their Fenty. First up was Bella Hadid, who showed her support by sporting the same white blazer re-wore for the opening of the Fenty pop-up store in Paris. In fact, she wore head-to-toe Fenty. Now, this isn't exactly a direct copy, since the brand does belong to her. She's bound to wear her own pieces. But the white blazer wasn't the only piece that launched with the first collection. I'm nervous, so my hand is shaking. I might drop this. Hold on. It's clear Rihanna's icon status isn't going anywhere. Even through her pregnancy, she's killing it and inspiring others. What do you think? Is this all a coincidence, or are these celebrities copying everything Rihanna does and wears? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more of your favorite celebs.